where I saw the face of a goat man exhaling black smoke into my mouth. What happened to the boy? What did he do? Is this soil haunted by a demon? That this was a portal to hell. The soil sample, the foundations, the ground of the demon house. My throat feels very weird now. <laughs> What's this in my hand? <laughs> the story was huge. It was the next Amityville. So yes guys, welcome to another video. Today, I am gonna be investigating this little vial of soil. Yes, now this soil in particular has come all the way from Gary, Indiana, the demon house. Yes, Zach Bagans' demon house. A story about a demon possession in Gary, Indiana makes international news. And a look at one of the most documented cases of demon possession and exorcism in recent history. Yeah, so a bit like the Amityville Horror House video that I have just recently uploaded, we're gonna try and get some information, try and see if there's any attachment. Now this soil was dug up after the house was demolished by Zach. I wanted to make sure the house never harmed anyone else again. Even though the house is gone, a police officer told me that people keep showing up and doing satanic rituals on the empty lot. So this soil comes from the ground, from the site. So you can destroy the house, but do you really destroy the attachment, the spirit, the ghost? We're gonna find out. Now, I'm not saying this is gonna be paranormal. I'm gonna be using a couple of apps. I'll be using my spirit box. I have a K2 that will light up if any electromagnetic energy is uh, discovered. We're just here to find out, to see if anything happens. Nothing may happen at all. And this is the case that really fucked me up. So obviously this is an interest of mine, trying to collect various potentially haunted items from locations around the world. So today is another one. Let's get on it. Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. That portal to hell house that we've been telling you about in Gary, Indiana, where so many eerie things are said to have happened, has just been sold. And where do you see who's moving in? The new owner is Zach Baggins. So first of all, we're going to try some EMF just to see a basic reading. As you can see, it's zero. This is a sound activated K2 meter. So any electromagnetic energy that is picked up, it will light up, make a sound. So again, I'm not saying this is paranormal. Just leaving it here to use to see if anything does happen. And here's the spirit box I'll be using, the PSB7 Pro. So like the Amityville video, we are gonna start off with the necrometer. So basically I'm asking if there's any attachment, any energy, anything that is left from the house in America, in Gary, Indiana. The soil sample, the, uh, the foundations, the ground of the demon house that Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures used to own. Potentially, does he still own the house? Will he still own the land? Has he sold the land? Because he said that he destroyed the house so that nobody else could be affected if they managed to get into the house. 
It's time for the house to go away. This was a portal to hell. But surely, if it's not only bricks and walls, it's going to be the land. So potentially the land is haunted, has a, an attachment, has spirits. So somebody could buy the land and then rebuild on the land and potentially have activity. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Could you tell me anything about the house? What happened? What happened to the family that, that were there before Zach owned it? This whole story started in 2011 when the Ammons family moved into that old rental house in Gary, Indiana. They started hearing footsteps going up and down their basement stairs, saw shadowy figures in the living room, and flies swarmed their screened-in porch in the dead of winter. A local Catholic church told them their house was haunted by spirits. And a couple clairvoyants claimed that the house was home to 200 demons. Was the whole thing a hoax? Then it started affecting their young children more. They started having dark conversations about death with people who weren't there. A family doctor wrote it off as delusions. Then on April 27th, 2012, everything blew up. What was some of the names of the children of the mother? Could you tell me that? Is that possible? We also have holy water and the lovely Jesus on the cross from my vampire kit. I'm not going to lie to you. I put it down here for for effect because it looks good. Okay, so I'm after some words related to the house. Do you remember affecting Zach's vision? Oh my God. Can soil hold energy? Now obviously certain stones um, can hold energy like limestone etc. Other rocks formations, they can hold spiritual energy. Can soil? Who knows? But that's what I'm here today. That's what I'm going to find out. I thought it'd be something you're interested in. I'm very interested in it and I'll be doing more of these videos because I have more haunted objects on the way. Yes, something from Bobby Mackey's. So that'll be another video in the future. Here we go then. So we have night time and malevolent. Interesting. Now that is the first word that could potentially be associated with the haunting, the possession, the demon of the house from the soil. Okay, we're gonna move on now to the spirit box to see if we can get anything else coming through. Thank you. A short time after returning home, Dr. Taft's organs begin to shut down one by one. Look, the, my body shutting down is the result of being in the demon house just for several hours. That's long-term effects. I was only there a few hours. I didn't, if I'd stayed there overnight, given what's going on with me now, I'd probably be dead by now. We are going to have it in reverse sweep. We are going to have it 110 milliseconds on FM. Right, so I've set it up over here. So I'm after some words that are relatable to this item, this item here. The 
house, the demon house. I want names of people who live there, please. Who live there? You give me names? Or what happened? What happened to the boy that lived there? What happened to the boy? What did he do? He walked up the wall back. Why was there lots of bad things happening to the family? What was the name of the family that lived there? The surname? The first names? Right. What happened at the Ammons family house? Yes, house. Was there evil there? What's this in my hand? What is this? Did that just say mud? Yes, it is mud. Is there anything attached to this soil sample from the house? I need some information. <coughs> I need him. Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> it feels like my throat. Is... My throat feels very weird now. <coughs> Are you. Is this somehow affecting me? Whatever this stuff is. <coughs> is that right? <coughs> oh my god, sorry. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. I'm going to go get a drink. Oh my god. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Sorry guys, do apologise, I feel better now, had, <coughs> had a nice glass of water. It's weird how sometimes you start interacting with objects, with items, with certain spirits, 
and they sort of affect you. Now I'm not saying this soil had an effect on my throat, but it's, it's quite a common thing. So, you know, just bear it in mind. It's probably not paranormal. What was affecting my throat just now, please? Who was that? What was that? Should I, should I not be trying to, to make help? Any communication with whatever is possibly attached to this? Does this have energy? I'm here. The energy from the demon house. Can it be transferred into soil? Does this soil contain energy from the demon house? Can it hold positive or negative energy? So guys, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to end this communication. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop this. What do you think? Let me know. Is there anything that you've seen today that makes you think that objects can hold energy? I believe possibly it did in the Amityville video. This one, I've not seen all the footage back yet, so I don't know whether we got any relevant words, any, any sort of indication of any sort of energy or attachment. So you probably know before me when you're watching this, I know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yes, guys, again, it's Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It costs nothing, it's free, and I'd be honored to have you on for the journey. Like the video, consider joining my memberships. We have members only videos. There's quite a few of them now and more on the way. And just as a side note, these bricks here are from St. Crispin's Mental Asylum. I also have a box in my bedroom of artifacts from that very haunted evil location so if you'd like me to do a video with those objects a bit similar to this one just to see if there's anything there let me know in the comments just write crispins happy halloween check out the other content on the channel go follow the ghost all podcast go watch all the halloween content and all the awesome paranormal guests that i've interviewed and will be interviewing along the way so yes guys, thank you so much and I'll see you later.